What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 AD Siege view today and today we have a 2v1, we have the Papal States over there, great to see the Papal States here, the glory of the Pope and we have the Gurid Sultanate fighting against the Duchy of Lorraine. Uh, the Duchy of Lorraine does have a larger army so he's able to take on both these forces but he's still massively outnumbered, 5,000 uh, to 3,000. And, uh, but he has the walls to help him, so he has to use his walls, and he's got his uh, gun emplacements up here on the towers. They are uh, firing and giving a reply to these troops down here, so hopefully they can get some good hits. But if you've been enjoying the content at the moment, at the, and you want to see more 12-12, or just more uh, siege battles on the channel, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And let's try and get to that 2,000 uh, sub mark. But as you can see here, I mean, the uh, artillery here, the bombard for the Gurids is firing at these uh, Mosul Marines. I think it's trying to hit this uh, bit of the wall here. It's at 15% to try and take down this bit of the wall here and bring down the uh, Mosul Merchant Marines with them. Not heard of this uh, this unit before. I don't know if it's a new unit or what. Or maybe it's not played as Lorraine enough. Um, but yeah, Mosul Merchant Marines. What a bit of alliteration that is. And over on this side, it looks like the Papal State is also starting to assault. Um, but he's got to go across marshes, as does the Gurids. We're playing on the Ravenna map here, and Ravenna known for having marshes around its walls. Uh, so it'll be slow going. But here we go, we've got some Frank archers up here for Lorraine. Loosing volley after volley down on these uh, troops that are marching up with a tower, well, with a ladder, sorry. And uh, yeah, they're now very vulnerable to being hit. Obviously, being in a tower, you move slower, but you don't get then shot in the side by... Uh, well, by archers, like these poor uh, swords are being here. They've only got a tiny little circle shield to defend them. But the first wave going up for the um, Gurids is going to be Rajputs going up by the looks of it. So, some elite troops. I mean, this is some of their most elite troops. You don't want it. If you're playing against the Gurids, if you're not bringing Rajputs, what are you doing? They're pretty cheap. They're pretty. Uh, they're very effective. The Rajput late's all going up. We've got a... Uh, Elephants, of course, back here. We've got Nafatun elephants, to be precise. These guys are going to be nasty to come up against. And we also have Nafatuns as well, just normal Nafatuns on the ground. So they will also be a nuisance for any choke point uh, battles that do occur. But, I mean, it does look like there's also going to be some Sallies that are going to be ready. In this one, we can see some, uh, what can we see? Some Ridder, Ridder um, troops being used here. Gold Chevron. Um, these troops here for Lorraine will be very, very useful. I don't know why... They have a Polish, uh, a Polish emblem, but they do. And we also have some more cavalry over here. We just have some knights high. These guys also probably going to be siding out against um, the Papal States while the Ridder will be going out against the Rajputs, you do imagine. And we have the general, the House Guard of Bordermont in the middle. What a name. What a name. And this guy looks kind of cool. Very stripy black and white. Interesting color scheme. But it does look like the towers are very close to getting to the uh, walls. Looks like uh, there's some poison shot going off at the moment. What is this? I think this catapult here is using uh, poison rounds or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the... Uh... What is going on here? What is that? Was that a, like a cow or something like that? I don't know. I presume that's what the poison shot is. Um, which is like... Yeah, there you go. It's going over there. <laughs> look. Oh, dear. That poor little... Uh cow or sheep or whatever that was, just like getting obliterated on the side of a tower. Imagine being like slaughtered just to be flung over, but yeah, I mean, there's looks like some more here. Not quite sure what that is. It looks like almost like a dog. I don't know what it's supposed to be. This one's yet to fire. Another poor little uh, dog or whatever being put in. Another I want to say it's a cow. It's like the cows from Medieval 2. And like other ones. Yeah, it's just a head as well. Jeez. Um, but yeah, they're being flung over trying to hit some of these uh, Rajputs coming up. I don't think they've actually killed any, but I mean... Oh, no, they've got a few. They've killed three. Three men have succumbed to uh, being killed by dogs or cows or whatever. But yeah, we've got Rajputs now landing on the walls here. Archer Lever being chopped down in the rear. And they're also going to get attacked from this side as well. Look at them, they're instantly like, they're turning around and, like, lose your volley into the uh, Rajput's point back range, and they charge, men, into combat. 
Imagine being like a European like this and you just see this strange exotic army coming from the east. Here's another force of Rajputs coming off and there goes the wall! Killing a lot of troops there. Some archer levy, about 20 of them dying. And this Mosul merchant marine losing about 60 uh, men there. 60 to 70 men. Yeah, yeah, here come the Rajputs and this archer levy you do imagine is uh, pretty doomed. Yeah, I mean, combat even at the moment, but I mean, two units of Rajputs given time will uh, chop them down. But here comes the Ridder. The Ridder is getting ready. Marching out. Gold Chevron Ridder. This is going to be nasty. I think they're probably going to go for either this infantry coming up here, which is taking a bit of a time to go. I certainly go for the artillery a bit further back. And you've got soft units like the archers moving up as well. Um, at this point, I think it's unknown that the uh, Ridder is here. Or, actually, no. They are now... Look, it looks like the Raj was going to set up some infantry, probably to try and slow these guys down. I mean, I think whatever happens, they are doomed. Um, but we'll quickly come back to that. Looks like the Papal States are also onto the walls, just landing on their swords. Now they are a little bit slower in attacking. Um, they kind of didn't start in the right spot when deploying. deploying so they, uh, they, started, they had to move. But here we go. It looks like we've got some swords coming up first. Some, I think it's like Umuni. I don't, I've forgotten their name, their Italian name. Umuni de Arm, Piedi. A very strange name. But yeah, so they're in there now against the Mosul Marines as well. And I think the cavalry is just about to engage there. It's already charged in. Did just miss the charge, but it was very devastating. I mean, you can't see the Rajputs. It's 111. They killed 50 in the losing men. Um, so that is a, a great shame. They're being hidden by the foliage. We'll have a look at this one. This one also probably in just as much dire straits. This one's lost around 40 men and quickly losing more. But we have elephants on the way up. They are slowly marching up. And the general for the Rajputs is under attack. I mean, he's getting quite close to the arch towers, which is probably the reason why. But I mean, the walls are overwhelming the Rajputs here. Some of they've jumped off the walls and got behind the enemy lines and are now fighting these Mosul merchants on the wall. I mean, they have a silver chevron and they're still losing. These Rajputs are pretty nasty then. Yeah, I mean, they might want to give the actual order for these troops to go into combat. That's probably the reason why they're not fighting so well. With these Sawal demand, yeah, they probably want to go into actual combat. But there go the elephants. They are in there now, thro throwing the Nafatoons as well. Yeah, so this unit here is actually, yeah, this Ridder unit is actually getting destroyed by Nafatoons. I mean, the Rajput unit's not going to be in great shape either. But these elephants are just throwing Nafatoons in, just beating people up. It's going to be a bloody mess. And there you go. That Ridder is, I think, gone now. Off the battlefield. 20 men left. And now the Elephants can go into the other Ridder. And they can uh, help deal with it. And the Archers are also firing in into this blob here. There's more. I think more Nafatoons just got thrown. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're throwing them in all sorts of directions. Jeez. There we go. It's always a... It's never a true 12-12 battle if you don't have some Nafatoons in it. Especially if the Gurids are here. Or just any, like, Asian unit. Any Asian faction. But yeah, there goes the other uh, Ridder unit. Breaking at 25. And they are now, uh, yeah, dealt with. And the uh, elephants have about half their Nafatoons left. And yeah, the archers on the corner have been beaten up. The uh, Rajputs are now coming off the walls over here. And they're going to be met by some more knights. It just seems like the Guris can't get enough uh, knights in their life at the moment. And there you go, they're being charged into... These poor little uh, Raj, which is going to get chopped down, it would seem. Over on this side, though, they seem to be having a bit more success because they're obviously attacking these Homde arms in the rear while they're also being thrown, had Nafatoons thrown at them from the front, from the elephants. The elephants are just going to sit here, throw Nafatoons, while the elephants are also having dogs thrown at them. Oh, poor Jesus. But yeah, these Rajputs are uh, doing a nasty little job. These Homde arms either got to turn around and uh, get attacked in the back or they get charged in the front by elephants. There's more Nafatoons coming in. And the elephants are getting poisoned again by more dogs, which are luckily they're nearly running out of dogs. They clearly killed them all in the, in the city. They're running out. But, I mean, the bombard, bombard still has ammo as well, and that's been brought up. But we'll have a quick look at uh, the Papal States, who's still having a pretty rough time. He's still fighting out on the walls over here. He's got his uh, sword still there in combat. He's got a lot of his army quite a long way back. He might want to move it forward just so... Uh, but it takes a long time to get through this marsh anyway. But if he does get a, a way in, 
He wants to be able to use it quite effectively. He's also got a great bombard back here, which he'll want to start to use to either take out towers or walls or whatever. But he wants to certainly start to do something. He's wavering these archers, these Frank archers. If he can take that bit of the wall there, where the Frank archers were, he can get off. And I mean, it's pretty stretched over here now for Lorraine. He's got some guild halberds nearby, but apart from that, he's not got much ready in defense here. These spears over here are losing. Um, it's never a great idea, I don't think, to bring spears. You're better just bringing more swords. I know spears, spears are generally cheaper, but like these Sargenti Papali are like a Pavis unit, and they're not going to be doing well against Homde Arms in a combat on a wall. And those Homde Arms, which have a gold chevron as well, just mop them up there. They saddled the man. They need to really get given the order. That's the only mistake he's kind of made here. Give them the order because they need the small like edge of the units fighting. It does look like the Papal States are making a bit of slow progress. Slower progress, we'll put it. But, like, look, a zoom in there. You could not tell who's fine for whose side. But I think the Papal States is here. And, like, um, I think Lorraine's here with his archers. But I'm not really sure. It's just a mi mix and merge of uh, colours. So we'll go back to the Rajputs. Who have now dealt with the Homni Arms over here. Put some Halberds and now come up to take on the, uh, the challenge. And they're chopping down. Oh, they killed a lot of elephants. The elephants have retreated. They've still got 16 of their their kind left. But now these Rajputs, I mean, they're retreating as well. I think they're. I don't think they've uh, been routed. They're just falling back. And these archers are going to get point blank range on to shoot these uh, guild halberds. There's also a lot of infantry now coming around here, and this cavalry, which has been in prolonged melee, is now getting chopped down by infantry. But that's all. This is all that's holding back. Um, like the Rajputs. Over here, there's not much else. I mean, there's some Honda arms coming over now. And this is a double chevron, like, gold unit. That is going to be nasty. And we have the uh, catapult now is being set alight. I think the Afghan archers are starting to fire, uh, fire arrows at it. And there, yeah, the catapult is... I mean, it's out of ammo now, so it doesn't really matter what they do. I mean, it actually looks like they have uh, some sort of pot. I don't actually know what this is. This is incendiary. Quite possibly is. I don't know if they're going to fire it or what, but they don't seem to be wanting to. Out, up here on the walls of Rajputs are still fighting against these militia crossbows, which have only lost two men. I don't... But it's, they're only, like, fighting this tiny little choke point. Look at this. What a, like, cluster. And the Rajputs desperately trying to get past. Over on this side, they're still fighting on the wall as well. He's saddled a man. And more Rajputs here fighting against, um... A Mosul uh, merchants, but this is how you got to fight with like the merchants like they're given the actual order to attack So the actual whole units are facing and going into attack over here the sal are just getting slowly chopped down I'm pretty sure And they're being attacked in the rear They gave them the order they do a lot better. You can see the cavalry's broken. We now got um, Rajputs coming up More Rajputs more archers But I mean these Rajputs gonna have a really tough time now fighting against his Honda arms Chop them down. Yeah, the Homni arms are going to just be their big swords here and axes are just going to make mincemeat of these Rajputs, sadly. Especially with their veterancy. And they have the Arch Tower temporarily still in their hands. I mean, they're about to lose it. So, I mean, the Gurids will be able to get more stuff in through this gate. They don't have to just rely on this choke point, which is still their only means of getting in, apart from over the towers. But here we go. It looks like a Rajput unit here is going to flank. And oh, that's a shame. These uh, knights here were just about to come through and save the day, I think. And now they've uh, they've routed and broken like here. They're not going to be able to get in. But there is some cavalry, I think, on the move over here. Another unit of knights getting ready. It's going to go for a charge and try and relieve the Honda arms, which are winning decisively, apparently. Which is uh, no surprise. These guys are elite. But yeah, here come more Rajputs are just going to just go and neutralize this catapult. Even though it's out of ammo, go and neutralize it. We can see there's not much in reserve. Lorraine has decided to defend the walls hard and nowhere else. And I mean, it looks like uh, his troops on the walls are starting to eventually uh, give in to the Papal state uh, to the Papal States. I mean, the towers on the walls are actually... Uh, the towers like, that have been here at the walls are starting to burn slowly. 
He really needs like a uh, gate to open so he can get his halberds through does the papal states. He's got a unit here. Look at this of Sergeant Papali. Just being shot to pieces. Um, I don't know if he's burnt the gate or what. Yeah, he's burnt. the gate's been destroyed, I think, by a ram. But that unit of Sergeant Papali now just has to... They need to get archers up here. Start focusing down these uh, halberds. He needs to get crossbows up. And start shooting through this gap at these halberds. Punish them for just standing there. All of the archers for the... Uh, the rain are in combat, so he can't do much else. But yeah, I mean, he's now eventually got like his uh, shot, own shock infantry up fighting against um, what looks like Sal the Man. There is more coming in. The elephants are now in. They might want to help in the fight here against the Homde Arms. But it's a brutal fight which the Homde Arms are winning. They're going to need some support. And the Elephants are on the move. But they're not going in that direction towards the Homde Arms. They're going towards the Cavalry. And here we go. It's going to be a slow advance from uh, both the Elephants and the Rajputs. They're keeping their formation. Their shield wall formation. Which won't do much against the Cavalry. But it's just, you know, reassurance for them. They're tiny shields as well. Not really much in an imposing sight. But yeah, these Knights should really uh, do a charge against the Rajputs. Well, obviously, the elephants here is reserve to kind of uh, just keep them in place, make sure the uh, the cavalry doesn't do anything stupid. And the elephants just don't care. They're just going to bulldoze through their own shield wall here. And here we go. It looks like the uh, it's now going to turn into a bit of a charge in a moment. And here we go. The elephants are going to charge in at a very slow pace. And there you go. Look at that. One of the most uninspiring charges ever. And the elephants are in combat with the uh, cavalry. I think this cavalry's already lost 10 men. Even before it's like really had a fight. And now goes in the infantry support. And then, oh, we just missed a Nafatoon throw. That is a real shame. But you can see the remnants. I think this Honda Arms unit was pretty fresh. It's down to 62 men now. And we've got like a mass of, uh, well, of stuff in here. And the general is in for the, uh, for the Rajput Swell. And he surrounds and they route that uh, Honda Arms unit just like that. And we've got more Honda Arms coming up, it would seem, as well. I mean, another unit on gold chevrons. They're really, like, throwing their, like, chevrons around. We've got a general over here. A house guard of Vordemont. He may need to go in against these Rajputs. This cavalry's still around as well. The knights here. 61 men. They need to, uh, probably do do something. Either they go after... Oh, there's more knights over here. He's just got... Pulling knights out of everywhere is, uh... The Lorraine. And he's actually beating these, uh, shock infantry down here at the wall. They've just got off. And they... I guess they countercharged and went in. But now, I mean, where are the archers? They need to start focusing down these halberds. But there you go. I think over time, these shock infantry should beat the uh, cavalry if they stay in combat like they are. They're capturing this point as well. Uh, the Rajputs so that will help with the morale against Lorraine. Look at their glinting armor from these uh, Honda arms. Some of the elite boys of Christendom trying to hold back the enemies of Christendom. Chop him down, yes, with your big sword. Behead him. But here comes the charge from the cavalry. The general, I think, uh, no less. Oh no, it's just the knights. The knights that were engaging the elephants earlier. They are coming in. And this is going to be a good trial charge. Brace! And there you go. I mean, there's so many lines of Rajput, so they can't knock them all down. They cannot knock them all down. The elephants are not here to save the day. The elephants are leading a squadron of their own up there. Imagine being led by a, a squadron of elephants. And then Nafatoons! Oh, gosh! That's done a lot of friendly fire. A lot of uh, the general unit there. But it got so many of those knights. That was a brutal Nafatoon. But, yeah, the general luckily just survived. Got a lot of Rajput, a lot of, Na uh, lot of the general. Luckily, those Nafatoons held fire and didn't shoot anymore. Jeez, that was a brutal volley. Now if they can go after the Honda Arms, that's a really good win for them, but their archers now are, yeah, firing, murdering what's left of the, uh, them, but that was just one volley that just got most of those cavalry. That is ridiculous. But yeah, so, I mean, it's going to be a tiny little flanking force of Rajputs now. But ha somehow these uh, Honda Arms are actually losing, even though they're in an even fight with these guys, and earlier we saw, like, the Honda Arms just wrecking, wrecking lives. But it does look like, there you go, the elephants are now leading the little flanking force going up here. They're engaging the uh, general, no less. And it, the general's already losing decisively. 
So, I mean, this is not a good sign for Lorraine. I mean, I don't know how he's going to win this. He needs to get archers over here, really, with fire arrows just to take out these elephants. That's not going to happen because all his archers are dead on this side of the battlefield. They're down on the walls. Don't know where the general is. He might be this guy here in his, like, black, all black uh, coat. I don't know. Actually, there's a few like that, so it can't be him. Who knows? Who knows? The Honda arms are slowly getting flanked by Rajputs. And that'll be the end for them. The Papal States on this side. Still struggling. They are now wavering a lot of stuff. Uh, mainly due to the Gurids taking out the general. Or taking out the general as we speak, I think. He's not quite dead yet, I don't think. He's routing. Uh, general is still alive. But yeah, there you go. A mass route on the walls by the uh, Lorraine troops. We've still got the pikes here. Or the halberds here in the wall. They still didn't send up any archers to shoot them. Which would have been a good use of archers. The only use there really was for them. But yeah, the final few units breaking. And there's still this unit here fighting on the wall. It's just broken now. But they have been holding on the wall the entire battle. Um, but yeah, a close victory for the Gurids and the Papal States. It's a well-fought battle by uh, Lorraine. Um, but it was just not quite enough. So uh, well done to uh, Turbo Fisto and uh, Sir Andrew William for playing. They did, both did very, very well. And um, I mean, Turbo Fisto was very unlucky where he spawned in, in a pretty hard assault, but he eventually broke through with the help of the uh, Gurids doing their bit, attacking uh, Andrew's army on the uh, other flank. But we'll have a quick look at the end results. I mean, um, these Rajput highs are not doing as well as the uh, the late version, but I mean, the best one got 47, and then the uh, late version's got 182 kills, 143, 190, the best one there. Um, but yeah, the late version of the Rajput's are excellent. And um, the Afghan archers didn't get much kills to do, but... Um, they killed like one unit of uh, halberdiers, which was useful in breaking uh, through. But apart from that, they didn't really do much else. Um, the elephants, Nafatun War Elephants, getting 211 kills, the best unit in the entire army. And then the uh, Nafatuns getting uh, 100 kills themselves. Then have a look at Turbo's army. The Pope, the Papal army, the Pope's personal army. Uh, the Pope himself, if we say he was a general's bodyguard, got no kills. It's a shame. But his uh, shock infantry got 96 kills, still pretty beaten up, which is pretty surprising. The Sergeant Papali got one kill between the two units. They definitely weren't bringing in. Spears on the assault is never a really good idea for anyone playing 12-12. Just bring more swords. Uh, you'll do a lot better. His pikes never got into combat. I mean, or rarely got into combat. They got three kills. Um, his swords, you can see here, got 180 kills. They did really, really well. Um, his, uh, another one of his sword units getting 140, uh, 156. Um, and another one getting 157. And his archers never uh, participated really, so, uh, well, didn't at all, which is a shame, because they could have got quite a lot of kills, and his great bombard getting 32 kills. And then uh, Sir Andrew William, who's playing as a Lorraine, got 228 kills with his Homde Arms, and 128 with another. Um, he then, with his uh, Guild Halberds, didn't do so well, they kind of just got focused down um, by me, and I think the other one just never got into combat against uh, the Papal States. Then his uh, Mosul Merchant Marines. Got uh, 71 kills, the best one. They, I think that's the one that was holding on the walls for so long. Actually, no, it might be that one there with 22 kills. Um, his Sawal the Man uh, got 80 kills. And his uh, Arch Levy not doing so well. And his Frank Arch is getting 20 kills. But his um, Crossbow is getting 150, which is good. And his Cavalry, which got most of his kills that battle. Um, the best one getting 67 kills. And his Catapult getting 52. But I think if he sent his uh, troops into actual, like, gave them the order to attack on the walls instead of just telling them to hold, they might have got a lot more kills and made it a lot harder for um, the attackers to break through. But uh, yeah, if you enjoy, enjoy guys, and please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see more 12-12, and just to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.